Begin Again tells the story of Dan and Greta, two people who are down on their luck and ultimately decide to pursue their music dream together in the city of New York. And I have to say that while the film certainly is a feel-good film, it's not without its flaws. In this film, we have Dan and Greta who are both struggling with not just their respective personal relationships, but they also have work-related issues as well. And it's almost fate that really makes them meet one another. And ultimately, it's the expression of the passion that either of them have for music and for their work and their different understandings and perspectives on what music really should be is certainly what the core of the film really is. And it's certainly great to see them want to pursue their dreams rather than not in it for the money per se but in fact respect the art of music and then working towards it is such an incredible journey because of the fact that we actually get a slight insight into the characters and their motivation behind how much music really means to them. And the film certainly has a lot of different varying themes with regards to how times, in a sense, have really changed with regards to dressing style, one, but really focused on music and how the music industry is starting to change, how it's not just about the song or the music after a point, but about an image more than anything else and about the rock star life and a lot of different themes that the film does bring up with regards to family and even alcohol to a certain degree all fantastic to witness on screen as they really manage to play into the story but unfortunately no theme is ever so deeply delved into and it really reflects on the film as a whole and that I believe is one of the prime issues of the film the thing is it delivers a decent on the surface story but never does it try to add any kind of depth to it. Rather, it settles for something that could have been something so much more. And unfortunately, the film really doesn't dare to do a whole lot more, which is kind of unfortunate, considering the fact that there are several heartfelt moments, and the story in and of itself could have had a lot more to say with regards to several different themes that it does introduce, but really, it tells you about certain things and leaves them there and doesn't really go any further, which is kind of unfortunate because of the fact that the film had potential. Ultimately, the film does boil down to a structured series of events, although that series of events is certainly entertaining to witness. The music that is introduced to that is certainly great to listen to, and once again, there are heartfelt and emotional and to a certain degree moving moments, but the film really doesn't manage to grasp you or entice you the way you would hope it could. But there's no denying that the film is actually shot pretty well, to be honest. There are certain scenes that are beautifully envisioned, especially one wherein Mark Ruffalo is actually drunk and witnessing a song come to life, really just infusing the passion that the film is all about and what it is trying to express. It really gives you a clear idea of what the film is about in that one simple scene, and the film does certainly take time to really stretch and really get to its main point, but I think it's from that scene onwards that you really understand what the film is. It's extremely light-hearted, but at the same time, there's a good amount of passion put into the project about passion in and of itself. It's a film that both benefits and suffers from its simplicity. It suffers as it doesn't dare to do much more, but still at the same time, in being simple, it tells an extremely quaint tale, rather, of Dan and Greta, and you see their arc ultimately fulfilled, thereby giving you an essence of closure, if you will. Also, it's really interesting to witness the relationship between our two main characters. The fact of the matter is there are certain moments wherein their relationship with one another really does feel a bit unnatural in terms of how they communicate with one another. But at the end of the day, it really manages to serve the story well and really is something that adds to the essence of emotion that the film manages to put across. Ultimately, Begin Again is a film with a message about what music has become and at the same time what music can really be. I'm going to give Begin Again a yes.